what according to you would be an optimistic estimate on the nifty yeah, so uh, uh, you know like i have been actually on media and been talking about a target of around 21500 to 22000 on the nifty which even from these levels is around a good uh, i would say 10 10% plus from here uh, which i think is very good because if you look at it from an index point of view from after the move that we've had from 16 from around 17000 that was there sometime in march to where it is right now uh, i feel that even if we have another 10% upside uh, on the index per se that's great because also what we are realizing is that in this rally the nifty's performance is muted by virtue of the composition let me explain this that if you look at the two principal contributors to the nifty one is banks and second is it and if you look at the large cap banks and the large cap it you'll realize that these two are actually not doing much in fact they're almost sideways and you, though the market is not at lifetime highs, light, lifetime highs being just about as recent as 20,000 or whatever, but a lot of sectors and stocks are at lifetime highs. So for me personally, the broader market is at lifetime highs. The Nifty is not there. The Nifty's performance is muted because your two principal drivers have actually been sideways. So if the, I say a 10% up move in the index from here, I feel overall there'll be a lot more gains in the portfolio. I think there'll be a lot more opportunities. And the most impressive part of this rally is that the, it's very broad based. You know, one is, of course, headline numbers, indexes that we look at, but breadth is very important. So you are seeing excellent sectorial breadths. You see the number of sectors that are making new highs and excellent stock breadth also. See, the last month of August, if you see the index was, I think, just half percent negative or something. It was a, it was a, it was a consolidation or a time-wise correction. But you'll find that stocks continue to make lifetime highs. Sectors mm -hmm. continue to make lifetime highs. So I think for me, the breadth is actually more encouraging than just the Nifty. That's why I feel that a 10% up move in Nifty will be very, very good for investors because I think a lot of stocks and sectors will outperform by miles. I wanted to actually ask your uh, views. Over the last 48 hours, you would have witnessed the way the world has been watching India uh, amid the G20 summit. Uh, I think Vasudeva Kutumbakam, history in the making, India's presidency, 100% consensus on the declaration, the way yeah, India yeah, has emerged yeah. as the voice of the global south. Uh, how right. has all of this really reflected on the Indian markets? Do you see a meaningful reflection of that in the coming uh, months or so because of the G22? See, I think that it is definitely a sentiment booster. Uh, it mm -hmm. does, it does, it's, it's very important and India as a country, as a race, you know, the whole shift from India to Bharat, I think is very, very symbolic and it's a mindset shift. The big difference that I'm noticing is the mindset shift. You know, all of the physical assets are nothing but follow or what humans do. And if humans and a race, we start thinking differently, we start thinking with confidence. I think that's, that's the biggest shift. As I said, it's not the tangibles, the intangibles that create revolutions. It's the ideas and beliefs that do. And I think we are transitioning to that. As far as the impact on the market goes, yes, it definitely has a positive sentiment and a rub off effect, but specifically some sectors or some themes get affected more. And since I'm a trend investor, you know, for me, that is very, very important. What I think Sakshi, is that what has really shifted, you know, what, is, what I'm noticing in the last uh, up move for the last few months is that for many years, Indian stocks were, Indian markets were dominated by a few stocks which were external driven which were export driven. So I mentioned IT large caps and a lot of other sectors, you know, which were more about exports and opportunities globally. But what has changed in the last three to six months is that the sectors that are leading are actually internal driven. And the bet now is about growth in the Indian economy per se. For example, the most spectacular sector move had in the last one to two months has been the PSUs, right? Whether it is defense stocks or whether it's your uh, rail stocks, etc. It's been spectacular. <laughs> this is like the most, most, most dog sector. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody made money. Most of these stocks were almost a decade. And what is changing is the decadal shift that is happening. So the trends that are emerging also are changing. But it's not just a few large IT stocks. They will do well. They will do well in the future. They've been the biggest wealth creators. But the shift that is happening is more inward looking, 
more india story more manufacturing related and more sectors seems themes and stocks which have been ignored for a decade and that is why when something gets ignored for a decade and does a big basing formation those rallies don't end in a few months or weeks these rallies continue to be larger and that reflects with your question of the theme that what is shifting i think there's a massive shift that is happening in the markets and we can see that in the sectors and themes playing out there are sectors and themes which never did well for 10 20 years if you ask most market veterans the moment you said psu they would say no way man like lot of false starts so so many everyone has bought sold burned themselves and like just doesn't want to get into psus but you see from last year last year it was psu banks this year it's some different set of stocks but it, they have been the biggest wealth creator and that is a reflection of the shift that is happening in the indian mindset mentality and more remember you can watch the full exclusive interview on our social media and youtube channels business today If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe